Well, hello everybody. If you guys have been watching my last few videos, you noticed a couple days ago I posted a video of these youths wilding out at a uh, Hooters and basically attempting to destroy stuff. And you notice my other video, the catalytic converter um, being stolen and people going and defending their property. I could post tons of videos every day. They're all over the internet of people getting attacked, of people losing their minds, of people freaking out on each other, um, stealing stuff, confronting people stealing stuff. I told you about that interaction I had with the guy at the Green Waste. Uh, I told you about multiple police officers I know and firefighters that I know that have told me personally, you should start caring. Things are getting more dangerous. People are beginning to lose it. There's more people on drugs. There's more depressed, suicidal, just desperate people. So I understand also that a lot of you don't want to carry a gun, can't afford to carry a gun, are scared of guns. Um, so this video is mainly for those people and for the women folk out there. You need to take responsibility for your own protection. You need to learn how to protect yourself and defend yourself. If you don't want to carry a gun, a knife, pepper spray, whatever it is, you have these, right? There are plenty, 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 plenty of classes for, you name the martial art, jiu-jitsu, karate, kung fu, hapkido, taekwondo. There are a bajillion martial arts. Oh, they're all over the place. They're at your local rec center, the YMCA, private places. Just Google it in your area and get into a class. Usually they're between... I would say 30 to a hundred dollars a month uh, the one that at my peak I was going to um, Kikido with my with my kids and I was doing kung fu two days a week I kind of cut down on the kung fu because I got busy doing side hustles to support my side hustle <laughs> but I still do Kikido for those that don't know Kikido is a smaller martial art from Korea and it is uh, founded in the mid 60s and it basically has an emphasis in taekwondo which is a lot of kicks and it also goes over judo and hapkido hapkido is joint locks and throws judo is kind of is is i don't want to say the same as jujitsu but it it's a brother to jujitsu let's say and you purists out there you'll flag me on it but i'm just trying to keep it really basic judo is basically wrestling hapkido is basically joint locks and throws and taekwondo is kicks that's what i do i also have experience and have a very little experience in shui jiao kung fu that's chinese style wrestling and traditional um kung fu fighting which is not the wing chun we won't get into that that's a separate lecture but anyway it doesn't matter you need to learn boxing wrestling whatever it is whatever martial art you can do there's also specialized women's self-defense class there's things geared towards kids that are getting built bullied you need to go out and you need to learn something learn how to defend yourself not only that but if you're a parent i have a lot of fun doing it with my kids it's a bonding experience it gives just um i think it was like two or three days ago my i think it was yesterday maybe my daughter was telling me how much her life has changed since she started um taquito with it's mainly taekwondo what she's doing but it, it's improved her confidence it's made her more muscular we were looking at some before and after pictures. It's leaned her face out. Not that she was overweight at all, but it, she is more muscular, more toned. Her cardiovascular system is better. She sleeps better. She's more determined, more confident. My son also does it. My youngest daughter also does it. Um, what I'm going to attach to this video is from last Saturday. It was my daughter's second tournament. She got first place again. And it, what I want you to notice is how calm she is. She's very calm and she just is a headhunter. She tries to kick people in the head. And one of the good things of, about martial arts, in my opinion, is the sparring aspect. When you're, That means you're, sparring is like practice fighting and a tournament is when you're really fighting. So if you go to martial arts and you spar, it's going to help tone down that fight or flight to where you, when you have a confrontation, you're going to be calm like my daughter was in her tournament. You're not going to get this gigantic, I mean, you still will get a gigantic adrenaline dr that dump, <laughs> but your body's used to it. You can manage it. You will not go crazy. You will not 
start shaking or crying. I've noticed uh, a lot of women when they get panicked, they just start shaking and crying, and the, uh, men too, and they kind of just lose lose their mind and they get victimized. Um, fighting and sparring will help train that out of you. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to attach your video. And son, if you see this video, I didn't attach your fight. He did good. He got third place. He fought um, an opponent bigger than him, four ranks higher than him, and he held his own. He didn't He didn't back up. He just kept charging. He got kicked in the face a couple times, got kicked in the eye, and he still went forward. The reason I'm not posting his video is because it's unwatchable, because I'm screaming the whole time, and it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> My daughter's video, I was a little bit more toned down. So I want you to see, also, she's been training for about 18 months from zero. I want you to see what's possible in a formerly shy... Uh, teenage girl that now kicks people in the head pretty forcefully. So anyway, I hope you like the video and please excuse my excited dadness. Thanks for watching. Nice. What'd she do? I wish they'd speak English. How are we supposed to know what to do? Oh. Come on, Ann! Go, Annie! 